If you want to personalize a project, you may wish to type out or create a specific phrase using your Scan and Cut machine. That's very easy to do, and the character sets can be found in your pattern collections, and they will be here in the double A icon. Depending on your machine, you will have an assortment of different font styles, and we can use any of these to create specific or unique phrases, sentiments, names, you name it. And we can work those with fabric or with cardstock or whatever we choose to with our cutting machines. I'll choose this first character set and we can see we now have a, a standard QWERTY keyboard so we can type out anything we wish. So I'll type in my name. If you want to use lowercase you simply tap on this icon here and that will change the keyboard to lowercase. If you have any special characters in the name or word or phrase, you can access those here. And if you wish to add any numeric um, details, say 53rd birthday or what have you, we have numbers and punctuation in this character here. So as you can see there are plenty of options for us to use. If we don't want any of that we can use the backspace icon here, either tap it character by character or simply tap and hold and it will take away that entire phrase. I'll go back to my character set and just show you that you can mix and match those characters. So you can have uppercase and lowercase for a sentence case style word. Once you are happy with the input there, you click OK, and we now have that the setting screen. This gives us an option to either increase the overall size of the characters, or the spacing between the characters. On the Scan and Cut machines, this doesn't go into a negative value, so we can't overlap the letters. However, I will show you later how to do this in Canvas Workspace. Once you've changed these settings, you will also get an idea here of how big that word or phrase is going to be uh, overall. And also this guide here gives you an idea of how big your cutting mat area is. So you've got 6 inch and 12 inch mark there. Once I press set, that positions that word onto my mat ready to cut. Now sadly it's not editable, i.e. I can't go back and change that word, however I can quickly go back into my character sets and re-enter the word in a different way, make any changes here I want to and then press set and that's another word ready to go. So as you can see, very simple for character sets. I'll just show you one more, just with a different font style. And there we go, we can see that we've got various different options. Now one clever trick that you may wish to make use of is the fact that we can type the letters individually and then overlap them. So there's my first character. And my second. Third. And fourth. Now you can see we can manually overlap them like this. However, when we talk more about editing and the pattern layout features, I will be showing you shortcuts for aligning those and also spacing them out evenly.